Hi, I'm Fight, and today I want to talk about the last six months that I spent with strength and skills coaching. Mm, first, so that we're on the same page, maybe a little bit about my background. I'm not a competitive athlete, nor am I especially interested in calisthenics. Really, I'm just a normal guy. Um, I work a normal job. I have a wife. I have a very young child. Um, trying to get strong. I've done a lot of that through calisthenics in the last two years uh, because the last two years coincided with COVID and uh, the corresponding lockdowns. I actually <clears throat> signed up for, you know, a functional training gym kind of thing, CrossFit-like, and then after two months uh, of membership, they had to shut down. That's my cat in the background. They had to shut down um, because, well, COVID happened and everyone had to shut down. So I was left to my own devices. And I didn't know so much about training. So what I did was follow the classes online, trying to get better, trying to research a little bit on my own. Found, you know, the usual channels like YouTube Fitness and that kind of stuff. And really just fucked around for a year before I hopped on my own program and then found strength and skills after my son was born and I realized that I need if I want to continue down this road I need more guidance and I need to be efficient and I need to be smart about my programming and so I talked to Nick and we had our first assessment call and I put out my um, strength numbers and by this time the last six months I spent uh, with rings training so I had a lot of experience with the instability of rings and that proved to be very nice um, for the last six months but that was really my thing and what I didn't have very much is legs at all uh, I did have a barbell at home and I did train with that barbell um, but really I didn't know the first thing about you know um, how to make it efficient how to make it nice what to watch out for and so on. I just hadn't, I, I was self-coaching, but I didn't have an eye yet. And that's where it helped. Likewise, I also wanted to get leaner and better looking. And so I tend to under, I tended to under eight, eat. And um, yeah, so we started with nutrition and training at the same time. Um, and I trained four times a week and it was just, everything blew up basically. Um, it's funny because um, we mostly, uh, we were on a kind of bulk or, you know, we, we tried to bulk up a little bit and then I was on a, a little cut the last four, five, maybe two months, let's say. Um, and now I'm like half a kilo heavier than I was six months ago, but my physique looks completely different. And all of my lifts um, have have changed um i learned a decent ring muscle up i learned a decent handstand um i uh the my five main lifts that i worked with were the overhead press the squat the deadlift uh dips and pull-ups and on all of those i'm still uh, on you know a normal human being level let's put it uh, like this, but I'm reaching a point where I feel confident with my lifts and I feel like we're getting somewhere. Um, so just to put this into perspective, I'm at around 62 kilograms right now, so I'm very small and I'm very light. Um, and uh, on my overhead press, uh, we're looking at something like probably 55, 57 kilos. Um, I haven't peaked that one yet. Um, we're looking at a, around 150 kilo deadlift, uh, 120 kilo squat right around, um, uh, my pull-ups, something, I think the best one that I had was 31 and a half kilos and the dip, I think we had something like 55 kilos and none of these are complete max effort numbers. So I don't know yet what those are. Um, but you know, they're fairly okay. Um, I'm certainly happy with them, and uh, I don't think I would have gotten anywhere close to this uh, on my own, especially not in this time frame, just because um, we had to clean up a lot of my technique, we had to clean up 
my eating a little bit. Um, and what really helped there was just having someone who tells me, okay, this is what we're going to eat. And I don't have to second guess myself and I don't have to look in the mirror and ask myself every day, should I bulk? Should I cut? Should I change something about my diet? No, I'm just following what Nick tells me to do. And it's the same for, for lifting, you know, I don't have to worry about my program so much because I know that someone who knows my goals and who knows how to get there has all of this in in their hands. And I think that that's very liberating, especially if training isn't your job and isn't your life, but you're passionate about it, then I think this uh, might make sense. Um, I'm certainly going to continue working uh, with strength and skills and we're going to see where it goes. So I think that's all I have to say. Thank you so much and see you around.